How you doing everybody, Dragon Chain family? Um, I am Jim Rocco. I'm a teacher here in Florida. I've been doing it for, uh, it's my 19th year teaching. Absolutely love it. I teach mostly students with disabilities. But I'm originally from Long Island, New York, but I transplanted here because I just couldn't do the cold weather anymore. So it's awesome here. Uh, one of my friends actually called me up one day. It's about two years ago. Um, it was in September. And uh, his name is Jay Bird. He's on Twitter. He's a big Dragon Chain follower, and he talks to Joe sometimes, and he's trying to get a book on there or something. But anyway, uh, he called me up, and he said, hey, you got to look into this blockchain stuff and cryptocurrency. And I'm like, crypto who? Blockchain what? You know, I, I had no clue. Um, so sure enough, um, I just heard uh, uh, a financial guru guy named James Ramsey saying that you should invest your money. And I'm not a big fan to the stock market, so I'm like, you know what, this is a good time to invest. I'm not earning any money in the bank account, right? It's just, there's no interest to be earned there. So I'm like, yeah, sure, let me check it out. And uh, first time going on exchange, obviously, was really scary because, you know, what you're doing for the first couple of months, it's just, you know, ah. But uh, that's how I got into it when uh, he called me up and he started talking to me about it. So it's been an adventure. Basically, I just tell my friends it's a online ledger. It's a great way to have super tra um, fast transactions between peer to peer or um, to whoever. Uh, just you just eliminate the middleman. And uh, I just said, you know what, blockchain is the future. Just like the internet is here now, I can just see it being just as big, if not bigger. So that's that's how I pretty much start my conversation with them. You know, <laughs> same guy, um, my friend Jay Jay Bird. We call him on Twitter. Um, big shout out to the Twitter population, by the way. It's awesome on there, I, you know, meeting people and talking to people on there. But um, he said, hey, he calls me up one day, and it's about a month into me being in the space. It's almost like November 1st, and I, he goes, there's an ICO, and you got to check it out. And he said, yada, 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 and all this, Disney, yada, yada, yada. And I heard Disney. I'm like, what? You know, like, I live in Florida. I'm a Disney fanatic. I go there all the time. So... Um, he said it started at Disney, and I'm like, wow. I'm like, well, what's the one thing Disney does differently um, than any other theme park? I love theme parks, right? So, well, they pay attention to the detail, right? And everything they do is um, they give 100% to. So I'm like, well, if this started there, this has got to be something special, right? So sure enough, I started researching online, um, Drag Chain website, seeing that as a platform, which I thought was great. Um, I always look at circulation supply of the coins. Um, I'm not a big fan of the coins that are in the billions because there's something that, to be said about supply and demand, right? Um, scarcity. So I saw there was a, a good coin supply and then um, researched that it was a hybrid token. I'm like, wow, this is a hybrid blockchain. I'm like, this is amazing because, you know, businesses want to have some things private, obviously, and show things, um, other things to the public. I'm like, this is, you know, extra special because I'm not seeing this being done um, with any other companies in the blockchain space. So. I thought that was huge. Uh, another reason was the utility behind the coin, um, the token. I mean, a lot of blockchains have these tokens, but they're really good for nothing. Like, what do you use the token for? I, you know, these here you earn time. Um, you can earn dragons, um, and I'm sure the you know other things as well. But uh, that's a big thing for me too. And I checked out the team, and it was in the United States, which I thought was huge. So I'm like, wow, that's great. You know, you know, um, and just that. Every, everybody on the team checked out great and it just seemed like it was a legit blockchain company because you know in the beginning you're just researching do your own research right they say and you're like looking at this coin and this company and and you're like this is what is this this is just an idea well dragon chain was actually doing the idea they had it up and running um from pretty much day one i'm pretty sure so it was uh that's what really drew me in and then i i had about a week before i get into the ico and I didn't know how, you know, setting up a, a Mu wallet, my Ether wallet was like, oh my God, what am I doing? You know, trying to figure that out. But I did that, got into the ICO and uh, just been accumulating dragons along the way. And I uh, just think it's a, definitely a special project. And it's, um, I, I've been researching a lot the last two years and I have not seen anything um, that even comes close to their um, blockchain and um, what they can do and where they're going. Um, I don't see anything. And I've researched a lot, and I really honestly haven't seen anything that great <laughs> compared to them. Definitely in the medical field, I would think. Um, just 
you know, records that, that data that can be sent to other doctors anywhere in the world. Um, maybe somebody has a special case or a special illness that's very rare and that information can be obviously secure and um, justified on the blockchain and sent to somebody else. Um, just really quick transactions, you know, it shouldn't take five days or seven days to send money from one place to another. Um, I know I've experienced that a lot with trying to transfer money from my savings account to an exchange. So I like the fact that it's instantaneous. I think it's really good. It could change the financial system, obviously. Um, just data in general with companies. I'm sure companies can save money. It's just, I don't even know what to expect. I mean, it's just the beginning, just like the internet, but I'm sure it's going to be all sorts of ideas. Um, movies, I'm sure, would probably be on the blockchain and whatnot. And uh, it should be really interesting to see where it goes from here.